Welcome back, Patterson. I hope you've had a chance to warm up after your visit to the North Pole. <laughs> because time is of the essence with this next mission. We're sending you to the Steinberg salt mine, located just outside of the Austrian village of Alt Aussee. The Third Reich has used the mine as its all-purpose safety deposit box, creating a vast cache of paintings and sculpture. The Nazis have had over six years to plunder the riches of Europe. They've looted art from personal collections and museums, stealing almost the entire cultural heritage of Western civilization. Now, I know I might not look it, but my college minor was art history, and it gives me grief to no end when I think about everything that's been lost in this war, all the art that's been destroyed in the never-ending artillery barrages and bombing raids. Two days ago, our intelligence intercepted a communique from the regional governor ordering the destruction of the Steinberg salt mine and all the artwork inside. The garrison's commander responded enthusiastically that the place would be wired with enough explosives to destroy not only the mine, but part of the adjoining town as well. Sadly, this situation is not without precedent. Last year, after the invasion, Hitler ordered the general in charge of Paris, von Dietrich von Cholitz, to burn the city lest it fall into Allied hands. For history's sake, Cholitz refused and declared Paris an open city, saving it from certain destruction. Unfortunately, what Cholitz did was an aberration in the way your typical German officer thinks. There's a jeep waiting for you outside, Lieutenant. Stop this madman from carrying out his orders. Dismissed. See what we got here. Oh, lost the browning. Shame. Oh, there it is. The bazooka. Right, let's go. I'm guessing there's probably more bazookas in this level as well. Shot him about ten times there, it didn't even affect him at all, he was just still kneeling down ready to shoot. What am I doing here? Generate fuel. Terrifying as soon as I sling one over the shoulder. This must 
be the fuel here. Grenade it with all. No, maybe it wasn't <laughs> the generator fuel after all. Can't blow that up either. <laughs> he shot his own man. <laughs> Try to shoot me with the bazooka and shot him instead. He's got one. Oh no, he just. wide open space like this. Let's 
to the mine. No one there, let's go. Someone behind me, huh? So. Someone takes me out with a pump and shoot me, I'll be absolutely human. Right, go. Again, let's save some art. I have been shot a few times already here with Panja Shreks, and it is uh, a tricky level, this one. that every single time I've played through, that's the first time I've ever spotted that. I was expecting it just to be on a desk or something. Oh, in the knackers. He's having a breather though, I'm not surprised. Shot on the bollocks. It's 
just keep going. Oh no 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 no! Did I get that guy? Yes. I don't know how many people of this demo squad have killed. Shooting six. Oh, oh it's on me. Oh, I've got him. Yes. Right. Can we just get out of here now? Ah, oh, bugger, not again. Elevator, please let me just get out of it. We just got one. God, luckily, he was blind as a bat. Him, you want the bazooka? <laughs> this is bloody mission. This is somebody stood here with a panda shrek, that would just be my luck. No, let's go.
just a gut in. I've been plagued by this guy here. Absolutely unbelievable. Oh, I just shook it. Is there another guy running around somewhere? Near him. or imaginary walls or something. Go. Come on. Again, another bloody wall. Please let the twelfth be around here somewhere. There it is. Following in the footsteps of the ME-163, the Messerschmitt 262 was the first true turbojet fighter aircraft. Capable of flying 100 miles per hour faster than a P-51 Mustang, the 262 streaked across the sky at more than half the speed of sound. It was an aircraft truly ahead of its time. The Germans hoped it would win back the air superiority they so desperately desired. But the 262 was not invincible, and it was too little, too late for the Luftwaffe. This war is going to end soon, and unfortunately so made the Grand Alliance that won it. Ike's going to let the Soviets into Berlin first, and once that happens, everything will change. The spoils of this war are not going to be land or riches, but scientific research. The Germans have a huge head start in jet propulsion and rocketry, technology that's going to change the world we live in. This mission that you begin today is why you were brought into the OSS. It's been in the planning stages since before D-Day, since before I even knew your name. Lieutenant, you're being sent back into Germany one last time, on a mission that just may determine the fate of the free world. 150 miles southwest of Berlin lies the Hartz Mountain Range. Buried deep inside it is the Nordhausen Mittelwerk plant, where the Nazis have been building their rockets ever since the Pienemunde raid in 43. The facility is run by the SS, and the toughest of the Waffen divisions are stationed there. The Germans consider the V-2 program their last hope, and they'll protect it at all costs. We need to learn everything the Germans know, and bluntly, we can't let the Soviets find out. 
Your mission is to turn their own terror weapon against them, capture their research, analyze it the best you can, then use it to destroy the facility. I've been told that luck is when opportunity meets preparedness. If that's the case, Lieutenant, I wish you all the luck in the world. I hope to see you back in London soon. Let's get up the ladder and go. Why are they just running around like that? for this target list here.
anybody else in here, is it? Yep. Target list found. Got it. What's next? Launch control system. What have been in that? I think it's down here where I shot that scientist. with having the aim button the same or the aim stick the same as the move stick I was trying to back off and then turned the aim on and started aiming straight at the floor this has got to be the way here if it'll let me jump oh my god what is going on <laughs> really Down there? Must be. He asked him. Thing with me. Now, future reference. Can I? Yes, I can. Good to know. Oh, literally, just what is going on here? Stuck in some kind of loop. Bloody hell, there we go. Anything wrong? 
around here that I miss. Scientists must have found first objective down. I can't believe the scientists in here are all running around their P40s. I'm just going to a lab and they're all carrying automatic weapons. Bad reload time. Well, look at that. Threw it straight over in boxes. Great throw. Somebody else?
pack of blue papers here. This is what I need next. Here we go, schematics acquired. I've had it. No. Anybody along the Whoa! Jesus. Set that. Giant system sabotaged. Find launch area, that is it. Then we get out of here. I wish it was a little bit easier to kind of switch weapons. Ooh. You know, to just chuck a grenade quickly or something like that. Don't know where everybody's shooting from. Launch area found. Oh, man. Oh, no. Strafing rapidly. What the hell happened there? How come I got. Slight hit. I'm at the end of the level. <laughs> oh no, I'm not having this like. This rare color footage captured by the Allies shows the early days of the German V-2 rocket program. Capable of hitting targets as far away as London, these so-called vengeance weapons were of great interest to the High Command. One can only imagine the devastation if the Nazis had succeeded with the heavy water research and perfected an atomic warhead. 
Just as the ME-163 had ushered in the jet fighter, the V-2 heralded the beginning of the missile age, the implications of which would carry through to all the generations of mankind to follow. as well in a second. This massive open hatch will not potentially keep you safe.
Oh, there we go. <laughs> General Eisenhower informs me that the forces of Germany have surrendered to the United Nations. The flags of freedom fly all over Europe. Well, there we go guys back to the war room thank you for joining me hope you enjoyed it bit of a letdown at the end there to be honest <laughs> slightly uh not as much combat as, as i was expecting um and a bit of an abrupt ending but uh, yeah hope you all enjoyed uh thank you for watching and if you like the video please like if you would be kind enough to subscribe uh, i'd be appreciative uh that'd be amazing so yeah i'll see you all in the next one